Hello friends. Today I'm going to show you how to use the loft tool and we're going to create this vase. The loft tool is probably the best tool we have to make something organic and give it uh, more of a shifting type of shape that you can see here with our land project. So let's begin. I'm going to create a new part. You're going to do this in your uh, vase folder. And we're going to start out by sketching on our top plane. And this is going to be the base of our vase. Okay, I'm going to flip it so I'm looking directly down at the top. And I'm just going to draw a circle right in the center of my coordinate plane. And I'll make the dimension 2.25. Check it off. Next, we're going to do something new. We're going to create a plane. Okay, so we have our three planes here that are our references. We want to create some more planes that are a certain distance from one of those dimension planes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select the top plane. It's important that you click on that first. Then I'm going to click plane. And it's going to reference that top plane a certain distance away. And in this case, for this first one, it, we are just going to go with one inch from that top plane. All right, so now you can see that I've, I've got two planes that are parallel to each other. And we are going to sketch on the second plane. So I'm going to click on it, hit sketch, and then I'm going to hit top. Now it might look like I'm drawing right on the same exact plane, but I am on the surface that is above. I know this isn't showing it great, but you can see that this one is still selected, that plane one where I am above. This time I'm going to draw another circle the same center point, but I'm going to drag it out to four inches. Check that off. You can see our first two circles and how that base is going to start to form and shape. So next I'm going to create another plane. So I'm going to click on our last latest plane, hit plane, and this one also is going to be one inch from that plane. So now you can see I have three. I'll click on that new plane, hit my top, go over to sketch, and we'll draw another circle on top of that. And this time we're going to go wider. This is going to be our widest one. It's going to be 5.5. Enter, check it off. One, two, three, looking good. All right, I'll use this plane as my reference. Go up here to plane. And this time I'm gonna stretch it a little bit longer. I'm gonna go three for my next plane. So you can see it's much higher than the other. I'm gonna sketch on this one. And I'm going to have it come in to 2.5 for this one here. Shake it off. One more to go. So again, I'm going to click on the latest plane that I did. Create a new plane. And the reference for this one will be 2 inches up from that latest plane. There we go. Click on this, a little bit of the top view, sketch up here, and our final circle is going to be 3.5. And we'll go ahead and check that off. All right, so if you remember back to that original vase that I showed you, and I know this is kind of glitchy right now, but you can kind of see how it winds out, gets thinner, and then winds back at the top. 
And the loft tool is how we're going to do that. So I'm going to go over here to isometric. And I'll drag it over here just a bit. All right. Now, the order that you select these is very important. So we'll go over here to loft. And it's going to ask you to select your profile. So I'm going to go ahead. You could do this on the, on the tree. But I'm going to check and click right on the drawing. And I'm just going to work my way up. And you can see it's already starting to fill in the vase and those lofts. Pretty cool. Now, right now, it's 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 uh, creating a solid piece, and we know that if you want to put flowers in the vase, you would need it to be hollow. So, one thing you could do is you could click surface, but there's a problem with surface, and the problem is that it's hollow all the way through, and the bottom is 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 not there. So a surface is just going to go around. You could extrude or revolve with the surface. It's just kind of a shell, except in this case, it doesn't have a bottom. So that's not going to work for what we're trying to create here. So I'm going to go back to solid. I'll check it off. And I'm going to show you another tool that we haven't used yet, but is pretty common, and you'll definitely use it again. Um, this tool is called shell. So I'm going to click on this top surface. Go ahead and click on shell. And what that's going to do is it's going to trace all the way through. It's going to keep the bottom, as you can see here. And I can make that thickness whatever I want. All right. So let's just, I'm going to change it back to 0.1, but let's see what 0.5 looks like. Much thicker shell. You know, it, with glass, you probably wouldn't see anything that thick. Uh, I think that point one actually looks pretty good. There we go, a little regeneration. So now there it is. I've created a, a vase that's been shelled out. You can pour water in it. Check that off. And what we could do is try to look for a really light color that maybe looks a little bit more like glass. There it is, the vase. Good luck, have fun.